Hey campus, George here, back in the man cave. Just got a knock on the door and my favorite person was there, the UPS driver. Anyway, he delivered to me something that I had actually kind of forgotten I ordered. And there's a reason for that. I think when I did, it was kind of wishful thinking on my part. And basically what it was, or is, is the doctor meter upgraded electronic fishing scale, the model FS01. And here it is here. And you can see uh, it comes in a box and uh, it's not that big. You can see my hand about the same size and uh, it's pretty cool. But like I said, wishful thinking on my part, you've seen my fishing videos. I did order it with hopes and prayers that I'll actually catch a fish I can weigh instead of bait size. So uh, I thought while I have it here, I'd share it with you. Let's have a look at it. So here we have the Dr. Meter FS01 upgraded electronic fishing scale. You can use it for other things, obviously. The weight ratings on this are pretty good. You can use it to weigh your luggage or household things and stuff like that. There's a lot of things you can do with it. But what I'm going to talk about here is how I'd use it for my fishing. And hopefully one of these days I'll actually catch a fish and be able to show you. So you can see it comes in a nice box and it has the uh, specifications and everything on the back. A uh, good solid box. Like I said, uh, it's not that big. So let's see what's inside here. I believe it's made in China. I haven't really looked to see. And maybe it's on the specification box here. Oh, there it is right there. Um, it says made in China so and then they have the product description specifications and what it has in the in the package and uh, how to use it the operation guide so there you go and inside they have a bunch of information how to weigh items unit conversion memory storage summation numeric comparison yada 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 and cautions and the things it has on it and how to use them. So it does come with a manual, handy to have. What is this? We have the Dr. Meter Ultimate Measure for Accuracy. And this says, share your reviews and help us further improve our products, etc., etc. Unhappy, want a replacement or return it for free? We always here for you. And they give you all the contact information extra year warranty so it does come with a, a warranty I believe it's for one year a nice little warranty card and uh, only helps if you have a serial number so let's have a look see and here it is in this little plastic package that comes out and we look in here so the first thing I see is it has three buttons on it Dr. Mido has a display got, oh we've got a, a handle obviously to hold it and pull down on the scale you have a hook on it here that uh, obviously where you are gonna hook whatever you're gonna weigh now on the front here it says you have the on off button you have a unit button and a memory button and I believe that's what the upgrade is um, you can store a number of different measurements on it I think and uh, look back at them on the side here you have oh, yes the tape measure and I believe the tape measure is one meter so there you go and on the back, uh, we have a manufacturing date. Hmm. Interesting. Uh, but it does have a number on you, which is probably a good thing. It's a way for them to track it and the warranty and all that good stuff. And oh, I accidentally switched it on. I'm going to switch it off. And uh, two AA batteries. So you can see there. Um, not bad carry them around always as always if you're having a battery operated thing and you're going out in the water and whatever now uh, you want to make sure you have backup battery so let's see how this thing works so we've got that handle we've got the hook the hook looks nice and solid it's fairly big you can hang some big stuff on here i believe so let's go on off it has an lcd display and the first thing i noticed is as you can see you can see the numbers right now but if I tip it, they go away. That's the only disadvantage of that type of uh, display. 
and it's got uh, L pounds here and it's zero zero obviously so that's your on off button and you have the units oh so we've got pounds ounces and uh, kilograms so you do have three different measurements here I'll probably use the ounces a lot I never catch anything big so there you then we have the memory button at the bottom and I believe that stores uh, oh this memory in here I think you have to hold it in there you go so if you hold if you have measurements in here already you hold down the memory button and it cancels them out so now we've got nothing in the weight range 0 to 10 kgs or 0 to 110 pounds so there you go not a bad range that's pretty big actually um, a lot bigger than I'll need but you never know um, the units uh, available in kilograms pounds ounces went through that operating temperature 10 to 40 degrees C so uh, you know not bad um, when you go ice fishing it might be an issue I don't know if uh, some of the cold weather we deal with when we ice fishing if that'll affect this we'll have to see in the future and uh, you have a built-in technique three feet or one meter and uh, two AA batteries um, ABS engineering plastic is what it's made from and it, it, it although it is plastic it, it, it feels solid so I don't see a problem there um, maintenance uh, wipe it with a damp cloth, don't use anything abrasive, the yada, yada, the usual stuff. Obviously, um, if you're not using it for a long time, don't leave batteries in here. They may get icky and nasty and cause some problems and you get corrosion and things like that. So, if you're not going to be using it for a while, take out the batteries. And the size is 2.5 inches wide, 4 inches high, and about yeah, half an inch or so deep. Um, it's not bad, uh, not really heavy in any way. I don't see a problem there. I don't know what the weight is. Let's see if we can find it. There you have it there. So let's have a look, see how it works. So we go on off, and like I said before, I got sidetracked. Uh, the display you have to look directly at it. If you tilt it, obviously, you can't really see it. But I'm thinking that when you're holding it up and you're hanging a fish, you're looking directly at it. So I, I don't see that as a problem. Um, so that's your on off button. We went to units and measure and memory. So basically what you can do is let's say, just caught myself a three pound crappie, almost three pounds anyway. I'm gonna hold it there and it should lock in. And there's a little lock on the top there and it says it's locked in at two, uh, 2.4 pounds. Now, one thing about this measurement, when you're in the pounds here, it says 2.4. It's not two pounds, four ounces. It's actually 2.4 pounds. So you'd have to figure that out yourself. It's kind of unusual. But hey, for me, that works. Um, I'm not looking for tournament style measurements here. Um, I just want to be reasonably close. I do do catch and release, so I don't have to worry about things like that. So um, I can measure my fish and then uh, take the weight. And then I can store that by just hitting the memory button down here so I hit the memory button and then to clear the screen I'm fishing again and I catch another fish not quite as big so we put it on there and it's uh huh for some reason my uh, camera stopped recording so let's go back and get a measurement on here and let's get it to lock in Store it and clear it, and let's get another measurement. Locked in, store it. So now I can go and look through my memory. That was the last measurement. So we go to the first measurement, where it was three pounds. The second one was that. And then E shows the total weight. Well, I obviously have more measurements in here. They're still stored from last time. But the E is a summation of all the measurements in here and comes to nine pounds well 9.94 pounds so it does total it all up for you if you need that um, for me i don't really care i'm looking at one measurement at a time but some people like to record their total weight and that's what you can do it'll measure up to uh, eight it'll remember up to eight for you so keep that in mind to clear that now um, if i go here 
So I go back to memory and just clear the amount. I can hold that in. Um, you can see I have these measurements. If I hold the button in for memory, it just clears them out. And now I have none. So, and then I can go there and just turn it off and we're all set to go. So hopefully you could see that. That'll work for you. They have a tear and a zero function on it. Will I need that? Probably not. It does have a data lock. Measurements are locked automatically after weighing. The screen will display a lock item after approximately two seconds. On and off, like I said, to uh, reset the, go back to do another measurement. Power off, press on off button, and that turns it off. Don't exceed the weight, all the normal stuff that you would expect. Pretty common sense. You know, I showed you how to clear the data storage. You have the tape measure, how to clean it and look after it. So there you go. A real quick look at it. Um, I'm hoping that in the near future I can get out there and catch me a giant, weigh it, take a picture of it, measure it. You say every time I catch me a PB, a personal best, I can record it. I'm surprised at how much it'll hold. 110 pounds, that's pretty, that's a lot. Not bad. The only thing I have an issue with right now is uh, it would be nice to have some sort of case to keep it in. Not necessarily a case, even a soft case or a small bag to carry it in. It didn't come with one. Um, I think I'm going to have to find myself one just because that's the way I roll. Waterproof it is, but they don't say dunk it. If you dunk it, they don't guarantee nothing. So there you have it. The Dr. Meter FS01. Uh, uh, I got mine on Amazon. Um, not a bad little item. I kind of like it. The price was very good. You know me, I'm a price shopper, so I'll put the price up here somewhere. You'll see it. And uh, obviously with shipping charges in it, if you're a prime person, you don't have to worry about the shipping. As per normal, there will be a link in the description below. You can uh, go down and click on it. It'll take you to the Amazon link. Uh, they do give you a couple of options. Um, they're not all, they don't all say Dr. Meter on them. They call different things, but I believe Dr. Meter is the guys that actually manufacture this and then they relabel it for people. So still the same product. There is an older version out there and that will not have that summation and the memory thing on it, I believe. All done. You know how that works, right? Don't forget, like, share, subscribe. You know the story. And I'm pretty sure I'll be back with my meter with a humongous fish on it. And we can measure it together and share my success. Thanks for watching. Bye.